Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy. And guys, I just got to number two, three, four, and five in Germany. I do have four accounts now for top letter, as you can see in the screenshot. And I did manage to get these placements with a new log bait deck that I just created. And yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys my best live games, which got me um, here. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. I'm up against Arsenic right here and I know this guy plays Lava Hound with Fireball, like a pretty classic variation. I have faced him quite a few times um, the past few days, so yeah, let's see what we can do against him right here. Gotta make sure I protect my Dart Goblin a bit, so yeah, if he didn't play the Skelly... Okay, wait, why was, why is he going, going in right like this right here? Like, I just cycle back to another Dart Goblin. I don't even have to play my Cannon or anything onto that and I can just go in with the Goblin Barrel Ice Spirit now, which is gonna be annoying for him to defend. He has to... Okay, yeah, he goes Barbs onto that, but that's of course very expensive and the Dart Goblin cleans up basically all the barbarians and his cycle is a little bit awkward to defend the princess right now because he used the Skelly Dragon's Mega Minion Barbs, so he could go Tombstone onto that. But, I mean, that's also kind of a bad play because I could just go goblins to protect my princess and, um, yeah, but he has to defend it, so, okay, now he goes fireball. I wonder why he would wait so long, like, maybe he was scared if he fireballed earlier and he was low on elixir, I would just go in instantly and take his full tower, so I guess he had to wait a little bit, right? Um, so yeah, now I can just go Valk to pull that mega minion back so I don't take any hits onto my tower with that and he still has to defend that, so... Okay, looks like he's gonna let his tower fall, which is like, I don't know, because like, it's kind of a smart play. His tower would have fallen sooner or later anyways, and I do have Evo Barrel in my deck, right? So even if I don't take his full tower like already, my Evo Barrel would take it once I um, play it onto his left side tower, I guess. So yeah, let's um, see how we're gonna be um, like defending this Lava Hound push right here. I'm just gonna make sure that I cycle back to another princess and the princess is like getting so much damage onto the tower right here. It cleans up all the skeletons also. So I'm just gonna set up my Dart Goblin in the back in the moment. He goes for Barb, so I might as well like play my can in the middle to defend that and then go Ice Spirit up top to like pull all the barbs and then like princess in the middle since he can't really take that out right now and I'm just gonna make sure I get another dart goblin and another cannon down to pull, pull the balloon ice spirit to make sure like the lava pups get frozen and that should be like a very good almost perfect defense right here I would say so yeah definitely GG's from this point on like there's no way he's gonna be coming this back so he might as well just give up right here looks like he does actually give up so yeah GG's for the first game and I'll see you guys in the next game we in the next game right here against Panorama and I know this guy plays like Evo Pekka, Balloon Freeze with like Barb Barrel Tornado so let's see what we can do against him right here but it's kind of funny playing against him because like I have like 10 wins in a row like okay I have like 10 wins in a row against him right here that's just not gonna work what he's doing right here just gonna cycle to another Dart Goblin like his thought process was like okay Dart Goblin out of cycle Gonna go in with the balloon, but I just cycled to another dart goblin, so that's kind of a bad play from him right there. It's because he should know I'm able to cycle back to another dart goblin, so going in like that is just not worth it for him. And he just, he just drops the P.E.K.K.A. in the back, and yeah, as I said, I'm like on 10 wins in a row against this guy. And that's like pretty funny to me, because I was on Riley, Riley's stream, and Riley also played against him, and he mentioned like, he also beat this guy like, I don't know, 15 times in a row. So this guy doesn't seem to be able to beat like log bait players I guess <laughs> which is kind of interesting so gotta make sure I get a good defense against the P.E.K.K.A. down here so I gotta make sure I get to my goblins um, to start like DPSing that down and I think I have yeah I, ha I will have to use my Evo Skellies onto the Lumberjack to make sure that got doesn't get like at least 1000 damage or more onto my tower um, and yeah also of course then he could also support the Lumberjack so I'm just gonna make sure I take that out with the Evo Skellies very good evil skeletons value for sure and just like that i'm up a lot of damage on the left side because i mean that was just a horrible pekka in the back honestly he does um like cycle to his evil pekka with that but i could go for like dart goblin to make sure my princess stays alive and he has to play something else onto that and he does cycle with the um to his evil e dragon with that and he also caught the princess so um, like a pretty decent e-dragon from him for sure i can just make sure i go for barrel to the side like this and ice spirit to support perfect freeze from him right there 
because like he doesn't take any damage and his cycle was super awkward so that was like the best defense he could have done right there for sure gonna make sure i okay he's going pack at the back so i want to go very aggressive on the left lane he doesn't have the bar barrel like back in cycle yet so he goes lumberjack onto that but hopefully the dark goblin survives to get like two more hits onto his tower right here okay perfect like you always know that the dark goblin gets either one or two hits onto the tower uh, when it survives mostly two it's kind of a weird interaction sometimes it only gets one hit onto the tower with one hp but yeah gonna make sure i defend the electro dragon right here i have to make sure i block the chain with the valk and then go evo skellies onto the pekka dart goblin like this perfect he couldn't hit that with the nado now i need to make sure i go cannon high so he can't get like any sneaky free freeze off onto my tower and dart goblin or anything and yeah that's like a very good defense right here go dart or goblins in front of the dart goblin unfortunately the dart goblin goes in front so he can just ignore that if the goblins went in front that would have been so much damage from the dart goblin like he wouldn't have been able to ignore that but yeah unfortunately the dart goblin went in front so gonna make sure i go like valkyrie then block the pekka with the skellies for a moment and yeah pekka is already dead cannon and everything dpsing that down so well cannon should even stay alive so that's a horrible balloon i don't think i need to play anything else onto this and the dart goblin and princess Hopefully the princess runs away. Okay, now nah, the bomb cleans that up. I'm just gonna go Evo Scalies instantly onto the bar, bar barrel and then princess the left. And I don't think he can defend this double lane pressure anymore because like, yeah, he defends the left lane. But wait, princess does exactly... Yeah, I think, wait, princess does exactly 246 damage, guys. So like his tower was at 246 HP and I think that was exactly enough with the princess to take it. Let me check right here. Yeah, look at that. 246 damage onto the tower. So... GG's right here, and I'll see you guys in the next game. We again Sandbox right here, so let's see what Sandbox is playing. Sandbox recently has been playing... Okay, there's the Hawk Rider, so I'm expecting it like with the new Goblinstein, since that's like the only very good Hawk Rider deck currently with like the Goblinstein, and I have faced this many times with the EQ and sometimes with the Lightning, so... Let's see if he's playing Lightning or Earthquake right here. I really hope he's playing Lightning because Earthquake is so much better than the, like against the Cannon than the Lightning because the Lightning is just so expensive and the Lightning doesn't really get like too much value because he can't really put it onto a Princess or a Dart Goblin if he's just hitting the Princess and the Tower or the Dart Goblin and the Tower and the Lightning onto the Cannon and Tower is also really not worth it with the Hawk Rider. So, okay, I'm gonna make sure I activate the King then Cannon like this to kill the Hawk and Valk to take out the Cracker and... Okay, wait, Cannon is already dead. I need to go Ice Spirit right here. He does pop the ability. That's gonna be so much damage, man. I do activate the King Tower, but that's like... I feel like it's still not worth it. I feel like if I didn't activate the king tower right there and defend it different differently i wouldn't have been taking that much damage and it might have been more worth worth it to defend it differently because like i could have activated the king tower later of another cracker also so um might have not been the best play right there so um yeah i have my dark goblin and valkyrie ready if he drops the okay he might go in with the goblin stein the bridge so i'm gonna have to pressure him with the valkyrie opposite lane and dart goblin because i have okay he goes for it on defense which is smart from him but i can like go evo skellies right here onto this which is also the reason why i end in in on the left with the valk dart goblin because if he actually played um the doctor the goblin stein in front of his cracker he would have struggled to defend the left lane and evo skellies would have cleaned up um the whole push on the on the right unless he popped the ability, which he probably couldn't have because he would have had to spend all of his elixir on the left. But yeah, he went for the Goblin Stein on defense and not on the right side, unfortunately. Could have been a nice predict. He goes for it on the right. I have to make sure I DPS on the Goblin Stein already, but okay, he pops the ability, go cannon. He gets it onto tower because I misplaced my cannon a bit, but I do react very fast with the skellies. So I do manage to keep my princess alive, which is perfect because that's like at least three extra hits. Yeah. Three extra hits from the princess, which puts me up in damage. So very nice protection right there. Just go princess again. Ice spirit to hopefully grab two hits. Then cannon in the middle. Okay. It could have been... Wait, I actually still got two more hits with the princess. But it could have been so good if I somehow managed to protect my princess, please. Okay, no more hits from the hawk. This is so close. Like, that's a horrible matchup for me. But I'm, like, somehow making it so close right now. I can just go goblin barrel in front. No lock and cycle. Okay, he misplaces the skellies a bit. That's gonna be so much damage. Wait, he messed up. He should have played, like, his cracker in front of the tower to stop the goblin barrel hits. But um, he didn't. So that's so much damage. Tower down to 1000 HP. But he does have, like, perfect defense. So I don't even know how he's taking so much damage onto his tower. Like, 
be okay there's evil skellies good, good that i didn't go for the barrel i'm just gonna cannon like this to make sure i defend the hawk but i'm gonna have to set up my dart goblin because he might go for another hawk and yeah just go barrel now to pressure because he yeah he's gonna go in again go cannon like this okay he locks the left very good damage on the right lane actually so um, I'll take that. I feel like I need to start pressuring the right lane also because he's just going to defend the left lane flawlessly every single time with like either lock, three card cycle um, and like his cycle card. So, okay, wait, what is he doing? That's so much damage. What is he doing? Like, I, I think he had like a brain lag right there. He wasn't sure if he wanted to waste the lock or not, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he actually had a real lag in game because that was so weird him wasting so long to lock the princess away And that's so much damage on the right too. He does predict my princess go evil skellies instantly to hopefully force out the ability or kill the stein Then cannon. I have to push the hawk into the cannon Okay, perfect ice spirit right there to make sure the hawk doesn't go for my tower That's hopefully not gonna be any hawkets. Nah, that's gonna be at least one hawket man two hawkets actually no bro Okay, wait, I have to make sure this doesn't get a hit, but it shouldn't get a hit for sure. Princess unfortunately dies on the left lane, so I have to make sure I pressure the right because he's gonna lock the left lane for sure. Yeah, there's the lock. Wait, that's gonna be good damage, but that's not nowhere near enough, man. I think I lost. I have to make sure, like, I start um, pressuring him very well with the barrel because, like, he's gonna just EQ cycle me. Wait, he's messing up. Okay, he's not gonna be back to lock, I think, but nah, he's already gonna be back to lock because of the three card cycle. I can't really out cycle him. What? Wait. There's, wait, he missed? Bro, what is he doing? GG's against Sandbox, guys. Bro, wh what was Sandbox doing? I felt like he choked so hard. That's like one of the worst matchups I could face for sure with this deck because of the Earthquake, but I did manage to grab this and win right here. So yeah, GG's for today's video, guys. Um, I hope all of you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did, please. And yeah, take care, guys. I wish all of you guys a very great day. Look at this tube. Top two, three, four, and five in Germany. So yeah, um, take care, guys, and goodbye.